So you're kind of like the judge. Now, in the ring, you're at the a Dalmatian specialty. How many were in the last specialty that you went to? 20. 20. Yeah. So there was 20 dogs with spots <laughs> in that ring. So right. you've got to figure a way to make your dog stand out so the judge cannot stop looking at your dog. Mm -hmm. So you're the judge, and there's 20 of us standing here like Forrest Gump saying, here's my boat, and, oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> See, that's basically all you got to do. <laughs> Ta-da, just stand there. But if you're standing there like everybody else, hand stacking that dog, now the judge has to work extra hard to find your dog. Yeah. So if I'm the judge and I go through and I'm looking at 20 Dalmatians and I don't see anything that is just really making me say, wow, I need to point to this dog here. Mm -hmm. Can you see that from a handler's perspective? Can you see if a judge hasn't made their mind up yet? Sometimes, yeah. Okay, yeah. yep. So you have to pay attention to what's going on with that judge. Now, if I'm the handler and you're the judge, and you haven't made your mind up yet, you obviously don't like what I'm showing you. Would you agree with that? Yes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is go to a position two. Once you get to the point where I can gracefully move to another position, you're not staring at me, you've moved down the line, I'm gonna come over to position two, which is the free stack. Okay. When that judge comes back, now they're gonna see a different perspective. Everybody else is still standing here like this. Now they see you with a beautiful free stack, the end of a six foot lead, nice little loop on there, dog standing perfect on its own. That's pretty nice. Now let's say the judge still hasn't made up their mind. If they still haven't made up their mind, when they break away and walk down the line again, uh -huh. you're gonna go to a position three. So position three, you're gonna step back here, your dog's facing three quarters into the ring, throw a piece of bait out there so the dog focuses on it. So when the judge comes back, now all he sees is your dog standing by itself facing into that ring. Okay. So everybody else is still like this. And now you've just shown your judge three different views of your dog. So who's working for it now? Yeah. So what I want you to do is I want you to pretend that the camera is the judge okay. and I will say position one, position two, position three, and I want you to go into different positions to make that camera want to pick your, your dog over all the other dogs that are in the ring. Okay. Now, here comes probably the most important part. Good. What good qualities does this dog have? No. <laughs> His zip code. Uh, not really. Um, he has a nice, I'd say his side view. Mm -hmm. Good quality when he's correct. When he's correct. Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah. Strong. Yep. When it's correct. Yep. And his expression is probably one of his other, like when he's, when, he, when he's not being overpowered and you know, he wants to do something, he's got a great yeah. expression. Yeah. Okay. So those, that like right there. Good. Okay, so these are the things that you want to focus on. You want the judge to see right there. Now, you know that there may be some things that may be a fault on this dog. But at this point in time, that doesn't exist. Yeah. That there are no faults. You want to keep that out of your head and focus on this is the best dog in the ring. I don't care how many dogs are in the ring. I don't care what handlers are in the ring. I don't care how many best in shows these dogs all have. Yours is the best in the ring. And you've got to think that in your head. Because as a judge, I'm going to see that confidence right there. He's going to pick up that confidence. But if you're like, oh, that dog looks really good over there, yeah. then he's going to pick up on that. And the judge, you're just basically telling the judge, I have a nice dog, but that's the one you really want to pick over there. Okay? All right, so go ahead and get your thoughts together and then go into position one. Okay, stop. You're starting right off the bat choking your dog. I am. Yeah. So what's going to happen is if you're putting pressure on that throat right off the bat, you're, you're telling him you don't respect him, yeah. and he's, he's going to tell you this is not going to happen. Okay. 
So that's one of the things that you got to get out of that habit of doing. And, and I know, especially in this ring, you see that all the time. Everybody going like that. Yeah. This is not a dog you can do that on. Okay, okay. so no pressure on that throat. Good. Look at the difference there. When you don't start off with pressure on that throat, he is happier okay. and he looks good. There you go. Good. So that's kind of do it like an advance. Oh, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of position one and position the third way of doing it at the same time. Okay. So Is there you. A polite way that I can have this go on? Yeah. So you're doing. Without, like, there you go. Yeah. So you're just doing just a little bit. Okay. That looks really good like that. Okay. That looks fantastic. So you're just keeping that throat clear. Your right hand mm -hmm. is holding the lead or the collar to the point where it's just keeping the pressure off the throat. Your left hand is like a more of a traditional type of stack mm -hmm. and it looks fantastic and he's not fighting that at all. Okay, that good. looks good. good. Yep. Good boy. Okay, so that was good. Now go to position two. That's a free stack. Is that free stack? Yep. Oh, whoa, whoa. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. That is gorgeous. Okay, position three. That's a three-quarter into the ring. Okay. So, here's my ring. Ready? Okay, so, yeah. so, so basically, as the judge, I only want to see this dog. I don't want to see you. Yeah. So you're going to try to get him to look over here, and you're going to go kind of out of the scene there. So j okay. just like that. Yeah. Stay. Throw the piece of bait so he looks at it. Stay. Beautiful. That was fantastic. <laughs> Let him get it. <laughs> okay, position four. Can you think of a fourth position? Not a three-quarter view, but like a front view. You mean? Do you agree? Nah, that's kind of weak. Um, give me something different. Get creative on me. Okay. Mm, stay. I'm trying to think here. You already did a hand stack. Mm-hmm. Why don't you drop to a knee? Me? From there. Like that. Oh. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Stay. Good. Oh. Isn't that nice? That gets the neck. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Yes. Go ahead and there you go. Nice. Good. Okay, see how different positions show different things? Yeah. So I want you to come up with five. I just gave you four. So you're gonna come up with five total. Yeah. Okay, so week one we had Peace. Entering the ring. Week two, we had the exam. Week three, we had patterns. Week four, gating, going around. Week five, finale. And every single one of those weeks, you have head straight. Yeah. At least three times a day. And when you're doing three times a day, uh, you're doing it for five minutes at a time.